Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are in the kitchen today with Katie Yardley from the Eagles Landing Travel Plazas. And this woman can cook, as you all know. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to be doing an American goulash, my version of American goulash. Nice. Using our Yardley Premium Steak Burger. So let's start Absolutely. cooking. Absolutely, let's get cooking. All right. You actually want to take about two tablespoons of oil, put in the bottom of your pan. Then once we get that in there, we take our premium steak burger. Look at that beautiful cow in there. And then one thing I really like to do in the midst of uh, breaking up the steak burger, I like to season my beef right now. Yep. Once your meat's completely brown, then you want to start adding your ingredients. Two packets of pre-packaged spaghetti seasoning mix. Nice. <laughs> you want to stir your seasoning mix in, give it a chance to kind of brown and cook with your meat. Then we want to add our tomato paste. Kind of mix in, let it let it cook and stick to the pan a little bit. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could could smell this. It really does. It's really good. So you want to add about 30 ounces of I like San Marzano tomatoes. They actually are the best flavor. Remember when I said quality? Uh-huh. And then you also want to add um, 15 ounces of tomato sauce. This is organic cane sugar. I do about two tablespoons. So once we get to this point, then we add about two, two to three cups of broth. Then you wanna add your Worcestershire. I usually do about a tablespoon of Worcestershire in this. So once it comes to a complete boil, you wanna add your pasta. Once it's completely stirred in, you wanna cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Make sure, very important, you stir it about every one to two minutes, otherwise the pasta will stick to the bottom of your pan. Mm, yeah. And then we put a lid on it, and we let it set for a few minutes. Once your 10 minutes is up, you wanna remove the lid, oh. and then at this point, you wanna leave the lid off for about the last two minutes so that the excess moisture can evaporate. All right, now that we've reached the ending point, it's ready to serve up. Rhea, are you hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> Perfect. So we dish it up in the bowl. This is where the cheese comes in. Take oh, your cheese yummy. and you just sprinkle the cheese all over the top. All right, okay. well, let's grab a few basil leaves, fresh basil leaves from my little plant here. Oh, look how sweet. You cut those up and you just put those on top. Yep. Right. So Rhea. Here we are. What do you think? Ugh, the moment has arrived. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Let's do gonna cheers. Be, cheers, absolutely. Look our, at this. Oh, I can't believe it. Can't Look at all that it. cheese. It's so good in the basil. Mmm. Outstanding. It's delicious. It is. And if you want to get this recipe, go to our website, ayltv.com, and you can get this recipe and you can make it as many times as you want. And if you're interested in this Yardley premium beef, which is just so primo, it really is, go here and you can check it out. You can buy it. You can, you know, peruse their website. It's fantastic. A wonderful oh, website. Yeah. And um, so there you have it. And I hate to say goodbye, but we're going to have, don't go away because we got a lot more AYL coming up. So thank you for joining us. Thank you, Katie.